And we're back on Day of Giving 2019. Now, Brett, you're the president of our Student Athlete Advisory Committee, and now we have the vice president, senior Victoria Wilson. Hello. So uh, it's been four years now, but tell us a little bit about what were some of the biggest reasons you came to Bridgewater. Um, I feel like probably the biggest reason, obviously, was to play volleyball. Um, I loved the fact that I could continue a sport I loved, but um, I also think that after visiting, I realized how genuine the community was and just, it, it wasn't just the cap campus atmosphere that was really welcoming. It was like outside of Bridgewater, obviously the campus is kind of set in the center of the community. So just knowing I was in a safe and like welcoming environment that was very similar to my hometown was something I really loved. A four year vo volleyball player, all American your senior year. Talk about your experience with volleyball this year and kind of how it shaped you as a student, student athlete and kind of prepared you for uh, when you graduate. Um, I think <laughs> it was definitely a process. The four years had its ups and downs. Um, it was definitely something I would never, ever regret doing. Um, I met some of the best friends I will ever have on that team um, and just really got to continue, like I said, the sport that I have loved for 15 years. Um, I think going in to um, hopefully a collegiate athletic administration job, I, um, I, have learned how to communicate appropriately with people that are not necessarily like me or have different beliefs and just achieve a common goal through that. And I think volleyball taught me how to lead those people in an appropriate way. So I'm excited to see if I can actually do it, but um, I think it'll go well. Yeah. Now, as a member of the athletic department, it's been very impressive what SAC has done the last couple of years. And there's been a group of students that have really led the way and you are two of them for sure. Uh, you know, tell us about some of the biggest initiatives you've put together, the Golden Eagle Awards probably being the biggest one that yes. you'll be doing for the third year this spring. Um, yeah, so Brett and I have been on Student Athlete Advisory Committee for all four years now, um, and our sophomore year we came up with the Golden Eagle Awards. It's an event that's very similar to the ESPYs. Um, it's... Uh, it, it's a way to kind of honor all of the success that athletes have had um, throughout this school season. Um, and I guess just kind of also recognize the seniors before they like go off into the real world. And um, yeah, it's, it's exciting. We've got like different um, awards that are probably some kind of out there, some that are obviously recognizing the actual accomplishments. So we have one that's um, like most outstanding senior athlete. We have another one that's <laughs> um, like best facial expression. So kind of a wide range, but still really fun. And all the student athletes come out, all their faculty and staff, athletic trainers. It's a really good way to just kind of celebrate one another. And the Student Athlete Advisory Committee puts on things the entire year. Kind of talk about kind of things we've done this year and all the uh, building and the process of getting student athletes involved and trying to get them engaged in the community aspect, which is something we value here at, big at the college and in our, uh, in our committee. Okay, um, well, obviously the Golden Eagle Awards is one of them. The um, Walk for Water initiative is actually the ODAC initiative, which is the athletic conference that we participate in. Um, that's a really big one this year that we've worked on. Um, so we will walk um, a certain mileage just to emulate um, other like devastated countries that don't necessarily have the ability to get to um, a, a proper water source and um, hopefully raise money for those people. Um, so we're asking all clubs and all organizations, all student athletes um, and, and their coaches and other faculty and staff to come to that event. Um, we also have uh, participated with Special Olympics. That is to recognize the um, athletes that necessarily can't do their normal like everyday activity. Um, they have disabilities, but they still want to continue and play the sport that they enjoy doing. So. We've, um, we've done Special Olympics mini golf, uh, we've done basketball, we have, it, it, and but prior to that we do a pizza party so we get to actually like intermingle with the, um, the Special Olympics like competitors. And you've also done something every year for Division Three week, you have yes. that coming up, the Walk of Water will tie into that, but speak a little bit about Division Three week. Um, Division Three week also um, is, is just kind of to bring um, an appreciation to the athletes on campus. It's not necessarily just to recognize the athletes, but just kind of give them a week that shows how much they put into the sport 
that they've, they've chosen to prosper in. Um, I, we have, let's see, a, a lot of the times we'll do um, like awards or prizes that you can win um, that are, are, are based off how many stamps you've gotten um, after attending, say, a sporting event or a convocation that talks on the, um, the, the matter of sports. Um, this year we have a, um, a um, Walk for Water initiative, and that will be our main event. Um, but in years past, we've had other activities like a dodgeball tournament that will kind of bring out everyone, hopefully. So we talk about a lot uh, the aspect of being able to do all these things, and fundraising is definitely a significant part of it. Now, the school and the athletics department uh, give SAC uh, money to start off the year, but we can't just do it with just that. We have to go and fundraise on our own. How important is it for us to get the money? So talk about how what it means for student athletes to be able to have more resources and stuff and uh, get impacted more. I think it's really, really important. It's nice to know that we have a support system because, like I said, it is a lot on the student athlete. And, and knowing that alumni or um, other people that are coming to the games, uh, past coaches, are supporting us and making us um, known even though they're not necessarily here is really exciting. Um, I know through fundraising we kind of get an idea of that and kind of get, um, get actually see the, the happening of, of that support. So um, we've done a fundraiser where we got donated um, cornhole boards and then raffled those off. We have uh, like Bridgewater koozies um, that we've been, been using. Um, we also have um, just reached out to the community for, say, the Walk for Water. If we needed them to donate buckets, we have reached out to the community and, and tried to get them to give us other things and to know a, a lot of the surrounding community is alumni from the, the Bridgewater. It's, it's nice to know that they're willing to help us at any point if we need it. Now you mentioned wanting to get into a career in athletics now, but as you wrap up your four years, there's something that's done a lot both with athletics and extracurriculars. You know, what's next for you, and how has Bridgewater sort of shaped your experience and helped build you to the person you are now? I would, I'm a completely different person, I'd say. Um, for the better, coming in from freshman year to now, I've changed what occupation I wanted to do over and over and over. Um, but I feel set now just because I have been surrounded by athletic administration so much. Um, that this is exactly what I want to do. Um, I want to go get my master's and then hopefully work um, probably at a D3 school like Bridgewater, um, if not Bridgewater, um, and, and, and see where that kind of takes me, hopefully to be an athletic director someday and help athletes. I, I have huge relationships with administrators on campus, and I'd like to help them or other student athletes like myself get through like times when it's rough or just support them and be really be there for them because I don't think I would have made it without them. Well, V, thank you for joining us today and thank you for just all the impact you've made on this campus. Thank I know we've, thank we've, you, Red Jones. <laughs> we, we've built a friendship over these four years and uh, you've been you've been somebody that I've always had on, on my side and I wouldn't have been able to get a lot of uh, sack things done without you, but thank you for all the impacts you've made to this athletic department, for all the people that you've inspired and thank you'll you. continue to inspire because I know you're off to great things. So. Uh,